If you thought the first list of terrifying fossils was shocking, brace yourself. Scientists keep uncovering even more ancient creatures that prove Earth was once home to real life monsters that put our imaginations to shame. From reptiles that flew like dragons to worms with jaws that could slice you in half, these fossils reveal just how terrifying our planet used to be. These are terrifying fossils on Earth that prove monsters once ruled the Earth. <laughs> In 2009, scientists in a Colombian coal mine uncovered fossilized vertebrae so massive that at first they assumed they belonged to a crocodile. But when more pieces were studied, they realized this was something even more terrifying. The bones were from Titanoboa serajonensis, the largest snake ever discovered, stretching over 42 feet long and weighing more than a ton. Titanoboa lived about 60 million years ago in the hot, dense jungles after the dinosaurs went extinct. Fossil evidence shows it was so powerful that it regularly hunted crocodiles and giant turtles, coiling around them and crushing them before swallowing them whole. A snake that size would have turned entire swamps into its hunting ground, where nothing could escape once it decided to strike. In 2021, researchers in northern England found a fossil segment on a rocky beach that revealed something almost impossible to believe. It belonged to Arthroplera, an ancient millipede that lived 300 million years ago and could reach up to nine feet long. This insect-like monster weighed around 100 pounds and crawled through thick prehistoric forests, leaving behind tracks that had been preserved in stone. Unlike modern millipedes that mostly eat plants, these ones probably consumed rotting wood, but some scientists think it may have been opportunistic and fed on small animals too. What's even stranger is that this creature lived during a time when northern England sat near the equator, meaning those forests were hot, humid, perfect for something like this to grow to freaky proportions. Fossils of its trackways show it wasn't just rare, it was common enough to leave trails across entire landscapes. I just hate that. Fossils of massive triangular teeth measuring over seven inches long have been found around the world, but in 2019, paleontologists combined these with vertebrae to fully reconstruct the monster that they came from, Atodus megalodon. This giant shark ruled the oceans from 23 to 3.6 million years ago and could grow up to 60 feet in length, making it the largest shark to ever live. Its estimated bite force of over 40,000 pounds was strong enough to snap whale bones like twigs. Fossilized whale skeletons have been found with perfect clean edged bite marks that match megalodon teeth exactly, showing that this shark actively hunted early whales and dolphins. To put that into perspective, a single megalodon tooth was bigger than a human hand, and scientists believe it swallowed prey whole that were the size of today's great white sharks. The ocean wasn't just dangerous back then, it was a place where the biggest predators alive today would have been considered small fry. First discovered in the late 1800s in North America, Dimetrodon fossils revealed a predator that lived around 295 million years ago, long before dinosaurs evolved. At up to 15 feet long, with a mouth full of sharp serrated teeth, Dimetrodon was built for slicing through flesh. Its most distinctive feature was the enormous sail on its back, formed from elongated spines connected by skin. Scientists think this sail may have helped regulate its body temperature, could have been used to intimidate rivals and prey. It looks like a dinosaur, but it was actually more closely related to mammals, showing that terrifying apex predators existed long before the so-called age of dinosaurs. What's unnerving is how common its fossils are. Metrodon wasn't a one-off monster, it was a widespread killer that ruled the Permian landscape millions of years before anything resembling a dinosaur ever showed up. Back in 1880, fossilized wings discovered in France shocked paleontologists. They belonged to Meganeura, an insect from 300 million years ago, with a wingspan of more than two and a half feet. This dragonfly-like predator thrived in a world with much higher oxygen levels, which allowed insects to grow to these monstrous sizes. Fossil evidence showed it was a skilled hunter swooping through the skies to grab other insects and small amphibians with its spiny legs before tearing into them with its jaws. Modern dragonflies are already relentless hunters with nearly perfect vision and the ability to catch prey mid-air. Just stretch that same design to the size of a hawk. Meganeura turned the skies into a hunting ground where even small vertebrates were not safe. In the 1920s, paleontologists in Queensland unearthed fossils of Kronosaurus, a marine reptile that lived during the Cretaceous period. This monster stretched nearly 40 feet long and had a skull over 9 feet in length 
Its teeth were interlocking and cone-shaped, built perfectly for gripping and ripping its prey apart. Fossil evidence even shows that Kronosaurus fed on other giant marine reptiles, proving it was at the top of the food chain. Its short neck and massive jaw gave it a bulldog-like appearance, built for raw power rather than speed. Scientists also discovered stomach contents that include pieces of turtles and plesiosaurs, proof it didn't just hunt fish, but actively devoured other huge predators. In the 1800s, fossil hunters in England pieced together fragments of a jaw so massive it baffled them. It turned out to be from Leedscythus, a fish that swam in the Jurassic Seas 165 million years ago. At lengths of over 50 feet, it was one of the largest fish ever discovered. Unlike a lot of other terrifying fossils, this one was a gentle giant. It used its gill rakes to filter plankton, much like today's whale sharks. But peaceful or not, its presence would have been overwhelming. This was a fish longer than most boats of its era, gliding through waters filled with predators. Its fossils are scattered across Europe, which suggests it wasn't rare at all, but a regular part of the ancient seas. In the 1920s, explorers in Mongolia uncovered a skull nearly three feet long, belonging to this animal here that I can't even begin to pronounce. But the bizarre mammal lived 45 million years ago, was likely the largest land predator of its time. At nearly 13 feet long, standing six feet tall at the shoulder, it resembled a cross between a wolf, a pig, and a bear. That's a terrifying combination. Its skull and teeth suggest it was capable of cracking bones with powerful jaws, making it a formidable scavenger or hunter. While paleontologists still debate what its full body looked like, the skull alone proves it was a terrifying thing. Even without a full skeleton, the evidence points to an animal that could crush through carcasses the way hyenas do today's, except on a scale big enough to rival a horse. Fossils discovered in Ohio and other parts of the world revealed the terrifying Dunkleosteus, a predator that lived 360 million years ago. 30 feet long, was covered in armored plates and had jaws unlike anything alive today. Instead of teeth, it had bony plates that slammed together like a guillotine blade, slicing through prey with brutal efficiency. Its bite was so strong it could puncture armor and crush bones in seconds. Fossils show that this animal swallowed prey whole, digesting even the hardest bones. One fossilized specimen was actually found with the remains of partially digested fish still inside it, proof that this armored predator ate fast and in massive gulps, reducing its prey to little more than scraps. In the 1700s, paleontologists in Texas discovered fossils of this animal here, the largest flying creature ever found. With a wingspan of over 36 feet, it was the size of a small plane. On land, it stood as tall as a giraffe, towering over many of the dinosaurs it shared the world with. Fossil evidence suggests it hunted like a stork, stalking prey like small dinosaurs and then snatching them up in its long, toothless beak. Launching into the air using its powerful limbs, it could glide for miles, dominating the sky of the late Cretaceous. Its presence alone would have been terrifying, a predator capable of moving silently on land, then taking to the air to rule an entire ecosystem. I've been your host, James, and I will catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.